That's a cute song. <laughs> you don't like headphones, huh? No. All right. Look at his hair. It's not because of the hair. It just doesn't it make is. any sense. We're it all in the same room. Unless you're getting audio cues from her or something. Ha- <laughs> I want to start it with Tommy arguing with Brenda. That's my favorite part. <laughs> was Welcome that arguing everybody. with me? It was. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Here's the Scenario. <laughs> I'm one of your hosts, Mike Cannon. With me, as always. Brendan Sagalo and also Mike Feeney. And we got special guests. For the third week in a row, because we realize this is how you expand your audience. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we, did a, we did a ton of podcasts where it was just us three, and and uh, that suffered. Yeah, so we'll now, say we we really tried to establish our characters and have yeah. people fall in love with the show for us. Yeah. And uh, it turns out that's not a successful business. <laughs> yeah, model. yeah, yeah. Nobody <laughs> gives a fuck about you two and three. <laughs> yeah. I forgot he was here. Not at all. But just to ramp up the white guy, we brought in the fellas from Stuff Island, yes, Tommy did. Pope and Chris O'Connor. Yay! Yay. Boys, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks for having show. me. <laughs> like, Tom, Tommy came in at a fever pitch. I don't know why you always say this. It's a normal pitch. Yeah. I'm fucking hot from last night. They, I got bailed on for uh, Legion of Skanks. was supposed to play Matt and Shane. Oh, they dumped you. No, Dave didn't show up. And I was uh, told I was the third two months ago. Whoa. You know the mental, mental anguish yeah. that it takes to know that you have to, you're going to be on tape. To be honest, something athletic and be like, I could be fucking ashamed. Yeah, yeah. eternity. To be honest, I had heard that they were going to cut you long ago. They tried to to replace me with Cardini. Uh, I went. I bought like basketball sneakers as an adult. Like you don't do shit. Yeah, where'd you go? Two hundred dollars? Huh? Went to the Nike store. (laughs) Yeah, put a fucking. (laughs) I love that. You didn't go for a beginner there. You're like, I'll take the LeBron newest model. Yeah, uh, ladies. No, I got uh, when the, the Jordans by Westbrook. Mm-hmm. Oh, that'll that'll Jordan. launch you to success. He's had Jordan a great by season. Jordan <laughs> by Westbrook. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Westbrook designed. Well, I'm gonna from, get this out. It does, it does feel like a J.C. Penny collection. <laughs> Dude, I just I just laughed well, I know at that it's so hard that I went forward and slammed my teeth into the microphone. I know it's not J.C. Penny because all the black guys on the street were staring at my feet, and that's when you know you made a right decision. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the young kids. Were well, they like, yo, yeah, those, are yeah. Yeah. yo <laughs> those are stupid? Yo, those are stupid. I didn't hear what they were. Doing. <laughs> I was wearing headphones. Yeah, say it in the fun oh, like, for what? Those are stupid. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mike, what yeah. is this show? Uh, this show is uh, a sneaker podcast where we also do <laughs> hypotheticals. We do would you rathers, uh, F Mary kills on occasion, even though that drives one of you particularly insane. And boy, do I like the fact that you get upset every single week. But uh, we got some Fuck questions. All? Yeah. Yeah. Do they really get upset by that particular like style of question. I think so. There's a couple people that are like, just retire this in comedy. Yeah. Nobody should do this. It's a variation I kind of, of agree. the same. I do too. I also kind of yeah. agree. Okay. <laughs> well, we all agree. So, you're right. <laughs> and we're also sorry we're still doing it. three that. bits to fuck Mary. You're kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> I kill, fuck, Mary, kill. Yeah. There's kill, there's fuck, Mary, kill. There's the the blank called and they want their whatever back. Yeah, you yeah. know, there's that. And then what's another thing that should be retired? There's um, so many. This whole bit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah this part. Um, all right. <laughs> I'll, first question. <laughs> I think uh, it's <laughs> opening, opening with, opening with uh, I know I look like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Even worse. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's, that, I hate that so much more than the <laughs> I look like is the I know what you're thinking. Because you're like, I guarantee you don't. And then they, it's never what it is. Yeah. They're like, I look like. <laughs> I'm blocking Brendan out because I know he's laughing about something completely <laughs> 20 separate. 20 minutes ago, Mike was like, and it's a good joke, but Mike was like, yeah, I thought of this joke. He's like, I know I look like. And I was like, that's <laughs> a good joke. This that was how, a good joke. This is how brutally <laughs> retarded Brendan is. That's not even a little bit of how it went. That was a part of it was it's the Steve Martin of. It had yes, nothing of to course, do with the whole bit. But dumb, <laughs> dummy. <laughs> yeah, dumb idiot yes. dummy. This is why you need guests. Go oink your way Man, You look another. like a mad guy. <laughs> <laughs> I know I look well like then, a- <laughs> Well then my facial expressions Are, are authentic uh, Alex the truck If you could undo one childhood physical injury To where you never experienced it And don't remember it What would it be mm. uh, There was a time I, I remember I went. I got to school early I was in 5th grade And Because uh, we always used to play football before school But I got there super early <laughs> And I was I I looked into the like the band rehearsal room mm. and I, I was looking at him and I was like 
the fourth grade band sucks. <laughs> and I, had, <laughs> and I, I immediately turned and walked right into an air conditioner and just ripped my head open. Oh, <laughs> oh <my God>. oh. <laughs> like, like just sliced. Like you my scalped old. yourself? Dude, yeah. <laughs> And, uh, like someone, Jesus. like someone ran on a loose carpet and stopped short. <laughs> oh, yeah. So Dude. God. So I, I, ri- it was winter. I ripped my hat off. Oh, I was like, I remember I went to my friend. I was like, John, John, am I bleeding? And he was like, No, no. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all of a sudden, I just felt all this blood gushing down my face. And then I'm pounding on the doors to get into the building. The band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And uh, some little kid, some fourth grader is like walking back from the bathroom and he looks at me and just gets scared and runs away. Goes, oh, I thought fourth grade sucked, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Suffer! Yeah, as, he, as you're walking away, he's going... Brum, brum, yeah, brum, brum, you just hear the, <laughs> you hear the fat tuba guy going... <laughs> yeah. covered, I covered my Notre Dame starter jacket in blood. Oh, fuck. So pissed. Uh, and I remember my mom came, picked me up. I got stitches. And uh, she was pissed at me. You got stitches down the middle of your head? Yeah, yeah. Because I know a bunch of kids that I grew up with that had, like, some sort of tragic head injury. <laughs> and they had, like, a horseshoe yeah. bald spot yeah. where they got stitches. This was right was on the top. envious of those guys. They had really? Come out with, like, a prison's car early? It was a little cool. Yeah, it's yeah. nice. There's part of it. Or it cuts through your facial hair so when you get older, you, it doesn't grow in. Doug Smith. Ah, the yeah. hottest oh, version of that. that. I mean, first gorgeous. of all, you stop a rape, you're immediately a hero yeah. for the yeah. rest of your life. Yeah. But then you got that jaw structure. You Dude, get out of here. That's As, also the cut they give you when you're like a squealer, a squealer. Yes. Maybe he's <laughs> lying. Yeah. yeah. Maybe, he's, maybe he's a rat. <laughs> maybe, maybe Doug is a <laughs> rat. Take a razor blade and, and swipe you right here. So ah, okay, all the yeah. other prisoners know for the rest of your life, you're a fucking rat. I feel like <laughs> they, can't just, they can't just talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's how they talk. Why don't you just spread dirty rumors? Yeah. Yeah. How big's the prison? Prisoners yeah. should just use their word. <laughs> can't, spread, can't spread a rumor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, Carlos, can I talk to you for a second? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what if you're in prison and you accidentally cut yourself? Oh, fuck. Yeah. You're going to think I'm a rat. God Way damn too it. Hard. No, no, no. I walked into an air conditioner. I swear to God. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't, dude. I, I, I've, been, I've been pretty, uh, pretty blessed with. As a kid, I'm trying to think of a child one. The only one I can think of that I remember, like, it didn't even do so much, like, long-term damage. I, I remember the feeling of it as I was in, like, elementary school, and we were we had to drop our, our like, play pails off on one side of the recess, and then we were going the other. So I was, like, running with my buddies, and I was like, I'll go drop ours off. And then he kept following me, and I was like, no, no, like, you stay there. Get us a good spot on the play gym or whatever. I'm going to go and I'm like running and he'd look back and he's just like <laughs> chasing after me and I'm like stay there and I'm like full speed and I turn and like I ran full speed into the monkey bars like just oh. the steel like directly to my face like hit it and then I Ooh, I remember uh. hitting it and then looking straight up at the air and like everyone was surrounding me and it's just that feeling of yeah. like smashing your face your eyes are watering it's yeah. like you're fucking crying oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. the uh, crying. Yeah. The eyes leak for some reason. That sucks. That was bad. And, and then thinking, the t- thinking at that moment, it's like, I'll never recover from this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. My, my face. It's like, no, 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 it'll get worse. Yeah. 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 You're going to shoot or, yourself in church, dude. Or getting, yeah. uh, getting, <laughs> getting tackled. As an adult. <laughs> getting tackled by my little cousin and ha- my foot rolling in a, uh, in like a little hole in oh. the grass and slamming my head onto oh a my fire God. hydrant. Oh, that's so many things. That was pretty bad. Yeah. I have still have a scar right there. It, it, you, do you know what's blood. crazy though is that Holy I so I, I found this out after like eight years of friendship with Feeney, but it's incredible that he continues to never bring it up. But this kid had such a fucking concave chest that he had a wire embedded on the inside. Not a wire, a stainless it out steel rod. Like it was a fucking snapple. Oh snap. my god! And he had to go through years of his teen life with that, and that doesn't even make the cut in terms yes. of physical well, injuries. Of you had of Feeney was yeah. walking like this all of all four years. You had chest braces. <laughs> yeah, yeah. On the, in, on the inside. That's the most. That's the on worst the form inside. of braces. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He had a key. He had I, would, I would end it. <laughs> Fuck yeah. that. It, it was crazy. Did you have like a retainer you had to wear at night? <laughs> no, well, <laughs> separately. But yeah, that might yeah. be my yeah. physical one, dude. <laughs> I had to wear f- uh, physical headgear. Like, oh, really? Oh, like, yeah. well, the dentist came to me. And I was like, <laughs> no. I have two older brothers, and there's no, no shot I'm wearing this fucking thing to bed. Like, oh, this? like yeah. the one. Yeah, it looked like a night. You had to like twist. Tommy Pope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, I'm Tommy. I feel like most of, most of the physical <laughs> things that happened in my childhood that changed my childhood were my brothers. Like, 
Yeah. My brother was a was a maniac on like a fucking like a, a mongoose. And him and his like hammer friends were, were like uh they <laughs> they built this this ramp going down this back alley and nobody like pr- practiced or took speed and and physics yeah. into consideration. <gasps> So I'm watching Just my brother. the dirt higher. Yeah. Dude, it was concrete. <laughs> oh so at the God. base of this alley was this ramp that bled into the, the main street. And they just took turns going off this ramp. My brother yeah. decided to go from the top of the fucking other street. And he's cooking. And I am, I think I was like six or seven. He was probably 10. And he did a full flip. It came down on his, on his head and his... Uh, oh. Broke his collarbone. Oh, my God. Jeez. And it, all the kids, like, dude, you don't know what to do. And the noise that was uh, emitting <laughs> from his voice, he was going, because <laughs> he couldn't breathe because yeah. of pain. Ah. So yours is more of a mental angle. Oh, 100%. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he <laughs> that. walked oh. him home. He tried, to, he tried to fall asleep, and his concussion was so bad. Good thing my mother was a nurse because my dad was like, yeah, he's, yeah, he's tired. Yeah, he's just dying. Something wrong. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let him like, yeah, let him go to bed, Gene. And my mom, was, <laughs> my mom wakes him up, takes him to the hospital. And the doctor's like, he would have been dead if he fell asleep because the concussion was that bad. Oh, my what God. Is it, what is it about the concussion that kills you if you're sleeping? Your head trauma. Yeah, your, your brain your swells. Brain, yeah. and uh, but what do they do? Internal bleeding. What is not sleeping? They doing? drill a hole in your head they, so it can yeah, pressure can release, release the pressure. Yeah. No, but I'm yeah. saying like some people that have had concussions and don't go to the hospitals, they're like, just don't sleep for a bit. And then they just stay awake with an ice pack. I on mean, their if head. you're looking for legitimate like, yes, me- like yeah. medical break. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't ask any yeah. yeah, nobody <laughs> has so strange. Yeah. Well, yeah. I have I have I think, three yeah. injuries that categorically shape my life. Uh the one <laughs> which uh <laughs> the one which I've been very open about is in seventh grade. I was first in our gym and all the doors were locked, and there was a couple of athletes trying to get in because we had after school sports, and instead of allowing them in, I put my face to the window and did one of those like thing yeah, where your yeah. mouth expands. Yeah. yeah. And the kid who I'm still friends with, he's now an NYPD cop, of course. He punched <laughs> the other side of the window and cracked my entire front tooth. Like <laughs> my front tooth crumbled on my tongue. And oh. it, that that feeling of like it'll never be the same. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. That is yeah. immediately Dude. what hit me. I started hysterically crying because at that point I considered myself good looking. Did you have a dagger for Yeah, yeah. I had a little Green Day Green Day Dookie nice. to- cool. uh, tooth. And I played that night, I played a game still. Yeah. And the the dentist like screamed at me the next day because they said sucking in that much air into my mouth would like deaden the nerve. Yeah, and, and then no you get a permanent tooth. poopy tooth. Yeah. Oh. But I didn't, so that was fuck. cool. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, having a buddy with a black tooth, you can't, you gotta get rid of him. No, he's out. Yeah. He's out immediately and I wouldn't, I wouldn't, yeah. any discoloration. Dude, wouldn't be mad at any of them. Yeah, that's crazy. That is go. the worst thing. Unless it's in the back. Kid. What? Yeah. You have a dead tooth in the back. Who cares? Right. <laughs> no. What do you mean? Then you, <laughs> then you smell right. like you eat shit souffle. <laughs> no, you can't explain it. Ooh, yeah. That no, is the worst. Look, uh... No, somebody with halitosis and you have to talk to them, especially when I you think, lean in. Dude, I, would yeah. go so I, far. I think that is the number one theory of bad breath. It's like, he's got a dead tooth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't it think they're like, is. what could it be? Dude, I don't really <laughs> care about a dead tooth. I'm Maybe I'm like, wrong. Maybe it doesn't. <laughs> Buddy, if I, I, I forget what I did yesterday from booze but if you if i smell your breath i remember the weather what you're wearing mm-hmm. <laughs> the fucking yeah. date and time exactly yeah, yeah. where i was in the city yeah yeah and i can never talk to you again like that's it that's tommy it. has some like real problems dude yeah <laughs> the amount of times See, we've had to problem. cross the street because someone a hundred yards behind us is shuffling their feet. yeah shuffle your feet get out of my face dude, <laughs> dude. do you have that ear thing it. Where like you you hear yeah, my, oh my yeah, my, I got whiskers mito. for for assholes like you wouldn't believe oh yeah what is that called the mito, uh, uh, mito <laughs> whiskers for assholes yeah you know, like, yeah, my, yeah, my, yeah. I got whiskers like I can whiskers for assholes my, Jordans for Westbrook <laughs> 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 my attention span for for people doing the wrong things the know? only version of that I have is if I walk in sneakers on sand. I will oh. freak the oh, fuck yeah. out. I have that I can feel it yeah. in my teeth. Yeah, yeah. What? Yeah. Crunch? There's, it's like. That feeling. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, I can't explain it, but I can. Walking? It's like I can feel every grain of sand <laughs> Dude, if I grinding t- against one ah. another in my teeth. Wow. You know what's weirder uh, is I prefer it. Really? I hate sandals in sand. I don't like feeling sand between my feet yeah. and. Really? Yeah. I don't I'm like walking. wearing uh, sneakers yeah, because I, like I don't barefoot. like it getting yeah. into yeah. my sneakers. That drives me crazy. Yeah. But the True. physical act of standing on sand. Yeah, walking on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking Awful. brutal. Oh, it I've feels never, like you're taking a nail file to your teeth. I've never yeah. even yeah. heard oh, of that God. as a thing that bothers me. You know, and it wasn't oh, always the case. It wasn't always the case. It, it popped up in like. 
high school. Get some college. sand trauma. Wow. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, don't know. I get that way when somebody would wipe off the chalkboard, like not yes. nails to yes. a chalkboard. The yes. act of wiping and anything with a chalkboard. Oh, Let's get yeah. that out. Dry of brown here. paper towel. <laughs> We're past oh, the dude. chalkboard. Yeah, dry erase. Yeah, well, now they are. They have, yeah, they are. As a matter of yeah. fact, we, you're not allowed they? in schools anymore. But if you were, well, I'm only looking from far away. <laughs> I can't even really tell. <laughs> that bench. <sucks. laughs> yeah. They have like smart boards. They have like a whole fuck Mary kill chalkboard. <laughs> projector, <laughs> overhead projector, <laughs> microfiche. <laughs> Question one down, baby. Uh, yeah, that's I don't cool. even think Brendan answered, but yours is obviously the concussion. The concussion I yeah. got when I was in high school. Yeah, but I was thinking I've had so many things like that, like walking into the bus and immediately breaking my pinky. Uh, <laughs> one time I was in like fourth grade and I was chasing after this. Uh, we were playing tag and I was chasing after this girl I had a crush on. I love how you. Add I had tag. to say. You I was because he was just gonna say he was I was just, gonna I say, was I was just was chasing this girl. Yes, yeah. I was gonna say I was chasing was this game. girl. I had a crush Is on. Tag? We were Fourth playing grade. tag. There's a context. Yeah, we were playing what. She watches me jerk off in a plant. <laughs> um, nice game that kids play. And then no, I and tag I, her. And then I tag her with it. No, I was running and I was like. I don't know what came over me, but I fucking dove at her and I went like that and I missed her and I went. And I just landed Damn. right on the ground. I was like, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and that girl went, what a retard. And, uh, <laughs> have you ever done that in a sport or something where the worst thing that can happen happens? And it's happened to me in Irish football, which is notable because I wasn't wearing like a face mask or anything like that. So I dove at somebody trying to get the ball or them or whatever. And I missed, and their heel came up at the exact moment yeah. and kicked me in the fucking eye yeah. as I was diving down at the floor. It was the worst coincidental pain I've it, ever felt in my life. It's a football, uh, like play football without any pads, knee to knee injury. Oh, of course. That's basketball. That's, yeah. that's the, the worst knee injury. This is very embarrassing. The worst knee injury I ever got, I was like 22 years old at a water park, drunk at the Seaside Heights. <laughs> nice. Sesame Place? We were all <laughs> banged up. Like Lego was, land. The, uh, you were how old? The water park story I told with Soder? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one I got kicked out? It was on the way up to the slide. I turned the corner talking to my buddy and I hit my knee, which still has a pain on the, the metal bar. <clears throat> And I had to play it off because we're the only adults like walking up to the slide. It was the most pain. Yeah. I for for three more flights, I couldn't fucking breathe. <laughs> and I still have an injury. What do you just, you just knocked it into it? Or? Yeah, full speed yeah. directly into the corner of uh Oh fuck, dude. I've the done pole. That so many times. I was playing lacrosse once and I I like split and my leg opened up and the guy poke checked just and I literally thought he cut my dick in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you didn't wear a cup? No. No shit. Really? Was that just yeah. for oh, flexibility no. or yeah. or No, I don't know. I, were, I have a thing if I'm like running or something, everything cup. tightens up. Yeah. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah. You never I never have a big dick while playing sports Dude, yeah, ever yeah. in my it's life. It's the weirdest thing. You could you shouldn't. Yeah. My nuts go to my stomach. For sure. They're, they they hide. It's for long yeah. That's why whenever LeBron, like you see him in his spandex post game, you're like, even he has a little bit of a baby dick. Yeah. He, yeah, he has no to. sexual yeah, interest. To. Only unathletic dudes have a big waggly dick. It must be. It's totally. like a, but it's a cake. <laughs> yeah. Right, it's, it's yeah, the biggest. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, big waggly. <laughs> it's got to be like. Because you're relaxed. So you know you suck at sport. <laughs> yeah. Big yeah. Like in middle school, everyone's like, let's see your dick. It's like, let's take a run first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two laps and everybody whipped the bird out. <laughs> let's get, let's Dude, get my to dad a still has like an indentation on his shin. Because he was at a, at, he was trying to move down seats at like a Yankees game in like the seventies or something, and you know how they're like those little plastic seats with the fucking iron yeah. armrest, yeah. and he like the seat went up. And his shin just went right into Ugh. the metal armrest. And just there's like a permanent crater missing in his shin oh, bone. I have the same thing. On my 21st birthday, I woke up at 3 a.m. to vomit all over my fresh laundry, <laughs> all over myself. And I just assumed that I passed out at like 9 a.m. So I was like livid, went out into the hall, was like, you guys let me fall asleep on my 21st birthday. You're fucking pussy, <laughs> blah, 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 all this shit. All my friends emptied into the thing. They're like. You went out, dude. You went out. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, are you okay? And I was like, what do you mean? They're like, your leg. And I looked down, and I had blood-soaked gray sweatpants on. <laughs> oh and I God. lifted up. And it looked like somebody, like, hacked a triangle <laughs> yes. into the side of an oak. And it was just straight up, I hit my metal trunk that I had for my clothes while walking <laughs> or careening towards my bed. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god. Yeah, yeah, I suck. All right, next question. <laughs> question number That's also two. That energy waking up after blacking out and being like, "What the fuck is wrong?" With <laughs> oh you? Yeah. yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like vomiting what? and bleeding. <laughs> Noth- nothing more yeah, terrifying. Yeah. Who shit my pants? <laughs> 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 question number two. Uh, Alex the truck. <laughs> if you had to sacrifice your attributes to have a child, what would you pass on, and what would you keep for yourself? Example: If you want your kids smart, you are now retarded, and you can also give bad attributes. Like I would give away my man tits and fatness, and then they would. I guess you give them to the kid. Yeah. That's shitty. Yeah. yeah. Also, you can't <laughs> choose the gender, opposite. but if it is a boy, dick size starts at four inches. Sagalo's dad was greedy. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly, this is a complicated question. That is a very. That's I a mean, tough you want to give your best qualities to your kid yeah you? yeah i mean yeah i i'm just any take them all no man. you don't why because you want a quality of, <laughs> you want a quality of life for yourself you, this is why it's a difficult question yeah you what, can't be what, like oh, my child can take a shut the fuck up what, yeah, what you want to live a good what would life you give your kid I want, I want you, you, the you, idea, the you, idea that his quality of life nah. would be diminished yeah. <laughs> if, if his child were to inherit all of his <laughs> good qualities. <laughs> his even <laughs> all right. his yeah, self- what insane. Yo, What's your it's name? Not Kevin insane. Kevin Kevin. It's not yeah. insane. It's not insane. What if I was like, okay, child, innocent baby, you can have my sense of humor. You could have you could have but his, then even wouldn't you be happy? happy? And then what do I do? But then you wouldn't find You have a nice time with But I think we No, you lose your sense of humor. He's got to figure it out himself. He can learn what he can learn, right? He can develop it on his own. I'll give him my athleticism now, okay? okay. Oh, which is- what if he? What if he's bad at it? Because I can't use it anymore. Sure. Why don't you give him your even-keeled sensibility and temperament? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll keep that. That was the quickest shift in emotion I've ever I'll seen keep, in my I'll entire keep- life. From manic, the Joker-type laughter. <laughs> yeah, that sounds reasonable. It does. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you keep all the, the real negatives. You know what I mean? I don't want. I don't want to give him my whiskey tolerance. I wouldn't give him my anger. No, keep yeah, those keep for that. yourself. Yes, keep yes, those yes, for yourself. Yes, yes, but yes. sense of humor. I think you're missing out on something because that just means that you can't be funny or that means that you no, you can be funny. I told you can't know what funny is, yeah. but you're still you. So we're still laughing. Yeah. So you don't have to find you. So funny. now you're even more funny because you're miserable while you're killing. Yeah. Somehow. Well, I more. thought you were just giving him what you have and then you no longer have it. That's what I thought it was too. Cause that's how Cause that would make it yeah. a reasonable question. But I totally, otherwise what are we maybe, doing here? Yeah, we're totally, just defining what we like most about it. each other. Yeah, yeah, but it's yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, that's All right, right. Right. You don't want to be right. friends. No, honestly, Tommy, I think you should give your kid your friendship. Yeah, see? Because it's I like so that. good. It's so good. Yeah. What about your body? What about your cologne? Yeah, because he could get his mom's body, right? Right. He could get That's some- why I said athleticism. I don't want him like running like my fucking wife. Right. <laughs> you know? Well, you gotta procreate with somebody athletic. A hundred percent. Yeah. You gotta select it. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. Like that's a petri right. dish. My wife was a varsity sure. athlete as a freshman. Yes, dude. That's what you did it right. I'd yep. probably give it all away. You should. <laughs> yeah. It's like, dude, just, 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 just someone actually, clean, you should, fresh. You start. should be a little yeah. start with me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Start with what I know and yeah. then and now you're I'll just and I'll die. just die. Exactly. Then, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. exactly. That's the real answer. <laughs> yeah, I I would say brains and and athletics because your your brain's gonna start going anyway. Mm. I don't give a shit what you think about my head right now at this age. I mean, I do, you, but if it was mind? for my child, I could go fucking bananas. <sighs> yeah. And then I can't, you know, I can't chase after. A yeah. Yeah. It's not, like I'm, it's not like we're picking from this huge pool of <laughs> good quality. Yeah. Yeah. The thing <laughs> I like about Tommy things, is probably. you're going to be a great 65 year old father. A hundred percent. Like eventually you're going to be that guy. I know. You're, you're, you I'm going to have fucking, my first baby at like 50 to 55. Yeah. It's going to be great. Yeah. I'm excited for you. I'll be, everybody's going to be like, is this your pop pop? And I'm like, you say it one more time. I'm going to snap your fucking yeah, My athletic child is going to punch you in your fucking mouth. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would love to see you in a PTA meeting in downtown <laughs> Brooklyn. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, oh, my God. Just, in another decade? How, yeah. Imagine just how grumbling, trying not to make a scene yeah. every time. Just, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The retired dad that can always be at school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah. Like, just dropping lunch off every This guy yeah. always here. So yeah. sad. Yeah. Home yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the ticket taker at the basketball game. <laughs> Yeah, we don't need you here again, Mr. Papa. Please. <laughs> I'm going back. Who's to my doing name. it better than me? Yeah, yeah. you Uber yeah. drive for fun. <laughs> I'll give him my real name. How about that? He can have my real name. Nice. Piece of shit. Thomas Jr. <laughs> yeah. I was, Ellen, I Ellen Gajokovic. <laughs> <laughs> you got to think, though. That's why I didn't do Michael Jr. First of all, I'm not a wild narcissist, but also. 
<laughs> typing that into the fucking to Google MJ? and all of his computer, his eventual college applications are going to be like, did he host a Sandy Hook is fake <laughs> podcast for three years? <laughs> can you give your kid a different last name? Well, if I change my last name. You can combine them, yeah. No, but can you just give them any last name that you so. want? No, yeah, change yours. I think your kid's got to have your last name. You have name. to change no. it. No. Really? Yeah, be you like, can, you can you literally want. write anything. Change I think you can do whatever yeah. you want. Kylie Jenner's kid was going to be named Wolf Webster. And then she just said it's no longer called Wolf. But if, I think I assume Webster is still the next name. Wolf Webster is a cool name. That is a cool name. We talked about it. Like, cool uh, Nicole said it's like an undercover superhero. Yeah. Right. yeah. Wolf Walter Webster. Mild mannered Wolf Webster. Uh, all right, next question. You like that? I did. Thick rock. There you go. Uh, would you rather be too hot or too cold? Easy one. Very Easy one. Too cold. You can always, yeah, too you can cold, always warm yeah. up. Yeah. You yeah. Can. And it feels good to warm up, to get into bed and like, yeah. Uh, I got to sleep for freezing, freezing temperatures. Yeah. What? I can't sleep, I sleep hot. Like I would, I'd rather sleep on a too. brick of ice than sleep in yeah. an 80 degree room. 100%. Yeah. So incredible. Sleep alone. I could sweat during the day. I do. So for four months straight, yeah. yeah. That's but a, I assume the question is: there's no way to manage it. You're either shivering, you're shivering. Oh, sweating. Oh, shivering. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 We've never had a, a question where it's like, well, it's impossible to manage it. Yeah. <laughs> we always go, well, if it's cold, I'll heat up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, by oh, the way, man. I just it's started the, the clock. Personalities question. We're all just going. What's the best thing about me? I mean, yeah. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> That's kind of what the show is. Yeah. What's the best and worst quality of me? <laughs> um, okay, so would you rather anger management? Would you rather your oh, nothing? Would you rather your volume be muted when you get angry, or your height get shorter the angrier you get? Vol volume muted when you're angry is great. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. so great. I, it's, no, I'd want to get shorter. I would be two feet, dude. I'd want to get shorter because then you can run into. Well, fence. it's it's terrifying. It's, also <laughs> like, it's, it's hilarious. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the physical transformation is. Yeah. If you start getting fired up and you just start drinking, true. And then you're that's getting angrier so the shorter you're what getting. What is going that's, on? That's the that's funniest point. thing. At least if you're muted, you can say what you really want to say and not have yeah. to worry. But, yeah, but they can imagine, if, if imagine how funny it'd be lips. if you started shrinking and you just got bonded by something. <laughs> well, that's the thing is my first inclination is even if that would be so jarring, if this was reality and you just started yeah. piping down inside yeah, yeah, while just, also swinging just, at the air. Re reverse my honking, put my on top first of thought would be like to. I would stop fighting you and I would go, are you getting shorter? Like I would look at you. I would pick you up. Is, I would pick you up like a child and put you in a crib that was yeah. too high for you to get out of. It would also be a, like it would su it would suck because it would be like Pinocchio's nose a little bit. Like yeah. you get someone make fun of you, be like, no, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah. 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 Oh boy. No, no, I'm taking care. this. I'm taking this very okay. You're the you're the yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Really? I'd be walking You'd, around like Thumbelina every day. <laughs> You'd never be able to take another business meeting again. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. We imagine Brendan in a booster seat yeah, for yeah, this podcast. Yeah. Yeah. How'd you get? How'd you get turned down by a chick in a bar? Just yeah. slowly. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, I don't give a shit. Can't, can't tab out. Yeah. And then she knows you're not even upset. You're just yeah. mad. Yeah, you're, you're, yeah. You you're, card. <laughs> you're in bed with her. So you're like, this has never happened before. She's like, I'm sure. Then you're getting smaller, and, 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 and your nose working. is getting bigger because you're also lying. Yeah. <laughs> your dick still not working. <laughs> All right, Cerna style. Nicole, how much time have we done? Because I just started two minutes ago. Twenty-six. Beautiful. Nice. All right, so from Cerna style, here's a scenario, cannibals. You get killed by cannibals, but you get to choose how they prepare you. How will you be cooked? Oh, that's sad. I mean, this is a perfect mm, question style. for the cooking show. Yeah. I would just do a, uh, a quick pan sear. Yeah. Medium rare. Thin nice. Thinly sliced. Human tartare. Thinly Some sliced. Capers. I would do it like Olive a... Uh, a little bit of lemon juice. You'd have to tenderize the meat. That's what yeah. I was gonna say. You have to pound it and make it like um like a schnitzel. Yeah. I want it pounded thin and yeah. then like really fried. Well, yeah. that's what I'm saying. You you're, taste, you're kinda you want you want to taste me. So you think <laughs> I mean, you've, be been, like, you've been look, soaking in bourbon on. for 30, 30 yeah. plus. It's really a it's a sweet molasses taste. Yeah, yeah. If, you, if you don't put that on a shirt, I don't know what to yeah. do. You want if, to taste if you're truly a cannibal, you want you want the, the whole thing. You want to, you want the fucking meat in your teeth. You don't want to make it taste like something else. No, but like, here's the thing. I I cook I cook you as the 
Tommy Schnitzel, and then I serve it to everyone unknowingly, and that's how I get off. I yeah, but you, what are you going to put like tzatziki <laughs> and uh, and bread? What now? You want this? I would love it if I would love to see. I would love Tommy to watch someone bread. like cut <laughs> into it up. and take a bite, and they're like, "Is it tough? Is it like venison?" And they're like, "No, it's like wagyu." <laughs> and you'd be like, really easy. <laughs> <laughs> start shrinking. <laughs> Man, so you think, because that's almost like a, a fish preparation is what you said. A no, white, it's white not necessarily. Fish. I would do more of like a, like chimichurri. I said capers. You're, you're speaking of a piccata. Okay. No. Sorry. I know not what I say. Yeah. Like chimichurri, like uh, with the thinly sliced meat is like a quintessential. That's, that's one of my, my, my last meals. I feel like I would need some adobo. Though, just, yeah, to, yeah, just yeah. to muscle it down. I don't know if the actual, Eek. the natural taste of human flesh would have you gotta the meat. Now, yeah. you, you don't know until yeah, you've tried of course. it. For seasoning, I know. The meat. <laughs> <laughs> it's gotta taste like regular meat, right? Uh, I'm sure it tastes I, great. There's no way duck is better. Yeah, like duck, duck is, is duck is good. Yeah. Duck's fine, I but like it, duck. it's like I feel like that's probably the closest to our, you think to so? our meat. Yeah. What is the choicest piece of a human body? I mean, everyone would say ass, but the ass. Um, a, maybe you know what I actually think it is. It's a tight no, you know what holds up the squat bar? Yeah, that I'd like to take a fucking thin fillet of your back wherever you do power <laughs> squats, dude. Yeah. And I would, I'd easily be able to muscle <laughs> that want down. A mix of like fat and grain. That's gonna be yeah. Tough. I want a marbleized piece yeah. of lean meat. Yeah. Nobody. Well. Yeah, I'm Brendan. Going for Brendan. Brendan's well, gonna be a veal. I, I yeah, choose to yeah. be you in are. this question. This plane goes down. No, you I want everybody be, staring at I, you, dude. I, I want Brendan. <laughs> ah, ja, ja. <laughs> I want Brendan the knuckles because it'll be like you know, kind of crunchy. Like They'll be like chicken wing. To it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like a Hershey's pie. Um, I would like to. <laughs> I would like to be served like a standing up pig where there's a whole bar right through me. Yeah. Yeah. Not only that. But we're all at a table, not me, obviously, but you guys are at a table and you have little green and red cards and then waiters walk around with me like, <laughs> what, like a Brazilian steakhouse? Yeah, like a Brazilian steakhouse. Slice house. of Brendan? Yeah. A little slice of Brendan. That's yeah. the name of the restaurant. Yeah. Uh, it's the name little, of this podcast. It's a little, it's a little, it's a little, little slice, slice of Brendan. A little slice of Brendan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, delightful. All right, next question. Cerna style. Here's the scenario: wrestling. You finally get a shot at the belt. What's your wrestling name? Catchphrase. Walk in music we've, and signature move. We we this. have like answered this a million steps. times, but we should also <laughs> mix it up because we're asking your... this questions from the same like three people. We should make sure other people get in there. Okay, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God we skipped that one. Yeah, let's skip that one. Yeah. Never felt worse. Uh, Chris Bickler. <laughs> Chris Bickler somehow, like, I wrote it. Like, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, just reading it in real name. time. <laughs> I don't know that it's shit until it comes out either. All right. Chris <laughs> Bickler, who we met at the Emmaus Theater, which uh, you guys should do that as well. It's fucking super yeah. fun. We did yeah. a half stand up, half live pod. That'll be up on our Patreon soon. Uh, but super fun. Here's the scenario you write the joke that gets Chris Rock slapped at the Oscars. Rock snitches and tells Smith you're the one who wrote the joke. Smith is now hunting you down. Ooh. How do you weasel your way out, or do you take the hit? Absolutely take it. Yeah, you take Why the hit. Take hit. The hit. 100%. Yeah. The publicity dude. alone. Yeah. My God. Now just I, the Jim Carrey here's, sales. Here's what I think. Oh, I rocked uh, Especially yeah. Yeah. such perfect timing. Yeah. Uh, His tour. I, I would if I was. Chris That's why Rock. he went like this. Also, you know he's writing at least 10, 15 minutes on that. Here's hoping. Here's hope yeah, for his team. But uh, I, if I was Chris now, Rock, well, Smith. <laughs> I would have, after that, hold the show. Oh, man. Let Jewish, the show Jewish Chris Rock. And <laughs> that was like Cat Williams converted to Judaism. <laughs> well, Smith. <laughs> <laughs> it's JFK as well. <laughs> or, yeah, or Nixon. Nixon, yeah. <laughs> What's your face he doing? Does this. <laughs> I don't know. It's, well, it's unbelievable. He has like the confidence, the like face. he doesn't know the it's, cameras are it's, filming. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. And he thinks Brendan is the epitome, the epitome yeah. of dance like nobody's watching. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. That's why I love you. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think Chris Rock should have marched <laughs> off stage looking like he was going to say sorry and then turn to Jada and start firing oh, bucket shots right in her fucking head <laughs> yes. while, while staring at Will. Dude, she looks like she just escaped an Egyptian tomb. <laughs> yeah. it, it does, Jay right? It's true. Yes. <laughs> like, it, you had it, fucking yes. falcons. No, no, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Galema. <laughs> <laughs> she starts rising up like a oh. dune, that guy. 
<laughs> the dress is just super long. <laughs> At OP shop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You got to take the hit. It'll yeah. Walk right up to you. What, hey, I, man. So I am interested because obviously, you know, this is old hat at this point. It's coming out a, in a week, but I, I would have cried on the spot. Really? Like, in that situation, like I would have been mad, so mad and so stunned at looking yes. at 600 million hairs that I probably would have, my lip would have quivered and there was no stopping. Like I would have started crying, probably would have walked off stage, done something like really embarrassing. I would have, that meme of Chris Rock it's going to follow him for the rest of his life. Yes. But he took it the best out of anybody that I could imagine in that position. He's yeah. kind of laughing in the photo, though. So that's like best case scenario for that. To yeah. the people imagine, that are like, it's if he started- fake, man. It's fake. It's like, what do either of them have to gain right. from that? Chris Rock, sure. Short term ticket sales are booming. That's fantastic. That's but when he's dying. They're going to talk about that. Chris well, Rock, who was a yeah. part of the infamous bitch slap. And, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. and he's, he's the oldest of seven and was always like a young little tiny guy. So he was, I mean, his whole, his whole, he had a whole show off it. Like he was bullied every single day of his life. And he's like yeah. only through yeah. decades of therapy. Have I been able to like get past Transform that? The, yeah. yeah. And to like being like, now I'm okay. Because he, he fucking attacked a dude with a brick one time and almost killed him where he's like, he like some kid mushed his face. So he went home, got a brick, went yeah. to the kid and started hitting the kid. And like, he called it like Joe Pesci stomping out the kid Good. and they pulled him off. They thought the kid was going to die for a few days. Yeah. And so ever since then, he was like, my therapist said that I was like afraid of conflict and afraid of my anger. So he's always been like overly nice to people. We well, saw him cock his fist. And his then like literally was like, and then that happens on the biggest day. It's like, that is a worst nightmare for someone who has that specific trauma growing oh. up. You're like, <laughs> that is the craziest oh thing of God. all time. And I guess a testament to uh, productive therapy for not taking a brick yeah. from Will Smith's face. We literally well, watched everybody's mental health collide in one yeah. nuclear yeah. explosion. Yeah. On live <laughs> we used to fuck with this yeah. kid. Uh, cool. Dude, <laughs> like a nebula. I used to fuck with this dude, Ronnie, a lot growing up. His, uh, his dad apparently was beating the fuck out of him every day. Like, his dad was like an alcoholic abuser. Uh, and one day he just snapped on another buddy, and I was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. We didn't see that coming at all, but yeah. you, you can see it. Have you, you ever had older, those moments? Yeah. Of course. Like, where you, because I've blacked out and beat the fuck out of someone? It happened to me where, like, I've, I've never had this reaction to anything, and I don't even know to this day why I had it, but somebody called me dumb. And I woke up having people take me off yeah. of them. And I, I was like in third grade. Like I was a child. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why or what, but yeah. nobody called me. As far as I know, nobody was like, you're stupid with me growing up or anything like that. But I just was like peeled off of this kid after fucking unloading. There's on so him. many psychologically. There's so <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea of third grade unloading. You know, they're yeah. like, yeah. No, I mean, I was in unloading. fairness, I was getting my, I was getting my ass kicked since I was like five years old by all older kids on my street. Exactly. So I had fighting experience. Exactly. <laughs> At that point in my life. Yeah. So I was straight yeah. right in this yeah, yeah. soft yeah, face you're like, kid. Yeah. Superman <laughs> punching him. I looked like Forrest Gump in the Black Panther party. <laughs> fucking <laughs> rifling rights. <laughs> yeah, it's a, every day is a collection of something that you harbor that you don't know. Yeah. Right? You know what I mean? It's just like a, just a big pit. A seashell. Yeah. A fucking, <laughs> and you don't know when it's going to explode. So like, you know, yeah. whether it's some guy getting berated by a woman his whole life or just getting picked on by his brothers. Will, One day he's going to snap. He's not going to know why. Yeah, yeah. You don't know who it's going to be. Yeah, let's all remember don't fuck that. fuck with the quiet kids by the way. I mean, if you want to see fucking bat shit personified, look at Jada Pinkett Smith's most recent Instagram post. It's like, this is the year for growth and I'm here for it. It's like, you need to be shot out of a carnival. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You are a into menace. A you are a mouth. menace. Yeah. Yeah. You're yeah, here yeah. for it, you bald bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh got her. <laughs> Big Willie style. <laughs> well, I just saw a video too of like Will's like audio book or something where he's like something came out where he was like when I was younger I saw my my dad beat my mom like he punched her in the side of the head and she was like bleeding out of the mouth and he's like and I did nothing and I'm a coward and I'll always remember that <laughs> dude <laughs> no, but he had nuts. this is the last thing this is it because we whatever but he had that entire walk 
to decide whether or not that was a good. No, idea. no. Once once you're yeah, up, like that, mid walk, you're I only you getting do. angrier. Yeah, I don't, yeah, know. I don't know. know. You're, you're pot But if you God. hear, if you're, <laughs> you are, but hang on, if your focus cracks for a moment, which in big sports games or whatever, you ever see uh, for love of the game with Kevin Costner when he's like uh, something mechanism and it, yeah, and yeah, it, yeah. it blocks out yeah, the fans. Yeah. It's like you can do that to a level, and actors are good at that as well yeah. with blocking out lighting, people grips, all that shit. But if your concentration breaks for a moment. And in seeps awareness that you're at the Oscars yeah. in a tuxedo marching yeah, at yeah. one of the hosts. Yeah. That is yeah. an easy time to he pull back and be like, you watch. Yeah. And, and then, then it, walk it, around and walk back to his I seat. have a theory on this because if you watch his walk, he's already committed. Yeah. So he committed. stands up. Oh, he has a real strut. If you look at his yeah. release point from where he where he hits this dude, he has a short step where he doesn't plant mm -hmm. on his left foot to make it even more of a surprise. So his whole walk there is trying like to be Kyrie nonchalant, catching you off guard, smiling and even as he releases, it's from here. Ooh, well, I don't know if you which saw is which is proof that he knew exactly what he was doing. Right. The second he stood up, well, it was science, all smoking. Yes, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you saw this, but like apparently in it's Scientology, you're supposed to smack people if they disrespect you. Oh, really? <laughs> really? Yeah, that's what yeah, David Miscavige mean, always. Yeah. Dude, that's one. why. Yeah. That's why I respect my that guy. Is Scientology. He is, he is, <laughs> <laughs> my I had no idea. Yeah. yeah, David Miscavige is one of the most uh, hands-on religious leaders of all fucking, time. You got to appreciate that. That documentary yeah. is insane. Yeah, but he leads. He is a billionaire and he's yeah. still getting on the boats rolling up his sleeves yeah. and whacking yes. the, a newcomer Good for him he keeps the that's excitement what makes alive it terrifying that's, that's a right. healthy lifestyle yeah you kind of can't wait till like uh cgi gets so good they just start like creating people that don't exist to act in movies yeah <laughs> yeah well, you know what i mean so it's like you just can't be that anymore yeah. it would be cool if it was starring like <laughs> you just can't be an actor <laughs> all, all the famous hologram. All the yes yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah and they're owned by walmart coca-cola that yeah. is going to be weird when <laughs> when that's happening and there's just one hologram celebrity and they're yeah. like in movies and stuff, and it's like starring Holly Berry yeah. and Hologram Joe. Hologram Berry was right there. Well, dude, hologram, hologram Berry and Hologram Joe. <laughs> that's the name of the movie. Oh, that's the best. Well, let's get to plugs. So, boys, obviously, Stuff Island. That was it? Yeah. No, no, no. no we're halfway midway through. Oh, okay. Mid yeah. I mean, we're a little more than midway, but we wanted to. We do the plugs in the middle, and then we sign okay. off at the end. Yeah, we, we want should people start to doing that to so people listen. What? Do you guys ever do so, plugs? like plugs? No. Oh yeah, yeah. Nah, we always nah. I think I was introduced in <laughs> the 45th so minute. Cool. <laughs> yeah, probably the, of the Patreon. Yeah. People are like, they're already paying for this. Yeah. You should ask in the beginning when it's public. <laughs> <laughs> so, stuff to plug? Yeah, Stuff Island. Stuff Island Listen podcast. Stuff Island. Yeah. And the Patreon, we got yeah. Uh, yeah, Patreon rules. Fish, and we uh, we live stream some like VR shit. We play golf and onward and stuff. Oh, that's sick. Which we'd love to have you guys jump in on. Yeah. 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 Dude, Let I just, know, man. Yeah, I yeah. have an Oculus I'm and ready. everything. Let's fucking go. I don't, yeah. but I'll come to your home. <laughs> <laughs> Watch on the couch. Yeah, dude. Jane does that. All right. It's yeah. fun. I'm in. It is a good time. All right, sweet. Boys. MikeFeeneyComedy.com for dates at I am Mike Feeney on social media. Go watch the YouTube special Rage Against the Routine on my YouTube channel and uh, twitch.tv slash NYFreshMaker. Do that. I'm going to be in LA in April and then now I'm doing Soul Jules, April 22nd. Yeah. So, nice. uh, oh, and I'll, I'll be there. Yeah. That. And Brendan Zaglow is going to be there. Are they going with you. back outside? No. They're indoors. Okay. They have walls. So everything. what's so special about them now? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> He's home. With great room you're about to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. Uh, MikeCannonComedy.com for dates. April 8th, I'm in Point Pleasant, New Jersey at Uncle Vinny's. Come to that. April 14th through 16th, Uncasville, Connecticut at Comics Mohegan Sunset. Daddy to God is coming with. Uh, and then April 21st, I should probably add the rest of those dates through the 23rd. I'll be at St. Louis Helium Comedy Club with Ari Shafir. And then at the end of April, Richmond, Virginia at Sandman's Comedy Club, Portsmouth, New Hampshire, Springfield, Massachusetts, Tampa. I'm coming out to a bunch of places. I'll be in Alaska this weekend. So uh, go to the Whoa. Patreon, patreon.com yeah. slash scenario pod to hear all about that shit. So How long you stay in Alaska? couple days nicole's coming with that's we're great. filming it it's gonna be like bear grills does comedy that's great. and great great go by like a, a seal go on a, <laughs> go on a ship go what on, go on a boat do no. some outdoor things oh yeah i want to see yeah, a whale, whale watch yeah go whale yeah. do something Let's dude do don't be like something. a typical comic that stays in a fucking holiday oh, and nah, imagine i imagine, you imagine i fly shit. nicole out just that's to what I'm film saying. me in my hotel yeah, room. <laughs> yeah you gotta just go to a fucking applebee's for an hour and then go back to the hotel before this is life on the road yeah yeah crazy man i'm always out there doing nothing applebee's has salmon that's weird uh instagram and twitter at brendan seglos and twitch.tv slash sags to riches may 13th and 14th i'm headlining the brokerage 
Uh, Bruce Willis is stepping away from acting. They just said because oh, of his degenerative, his yeah, degenerative he's... health conditions. He did eight movies last year. Uh, and he... Wait, what's his degenerative health condition? He's doing got... eight movies. Yeah, he's, yeah. yeah. He's no gay. one giving a shit. <laughs> yeah, no one giving a shit. Uh, finally got to. He's gay and getting gayer. <laughs> yeah. Nicole, what are your plugs? <laughs> he caught it. Yeah. Nicole C lines on Instagram. Thanks, Nicole. Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, Carrie Betts. Speaking of fuck, marry, kill. Fuck, marry, kill, eat, and slave. Boy band edition. So we got five options for uh, your favorite boy band. Which is your favorite boy band is actually a good question. Eat and enslave. I never mm. The obvious is insane. Yeah. I'll go 98 degrees to f- switch it up. If you okay. Want. Do you know all their names? Nick Lachey. And? You, know, you want to hear a fucking you know really embarrassing story about Nick Lachey? Yeah. So I went home for Thanksgiving uh, <laughs> one year when I was at Drexel. And I went to this like local bar in Delco with my brother. And I went to the bathroom and apparently there was a karaoke set up. My brother signed me up. For, uh, to sing 98 Degrees. Uh-huh. And I fucking did it. Nice. And this old, <clears throat> this old local comes up to me and he's like, hey man, uh, I know who you are and uh, it, would, it would mean the world to me if, if you signed an autograph for my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> my brother's like, and I was like, dude, I'm just here for Thanksgiving visiting my family. <laughs> <laughs> my family. The bartender, the bartender was an ex-girlfriend of mine and I was like, quick, quick. He walked over and I was like, just give me a second. I'll think about it. And I was like, what, what's the dude's name? And she's like, Nick Lachey. And I was like, come here. <laughs> Guy comes back over and I was like, All right, I'll do it just once, but you can't tell anybody. And I was like, what's your daughter's name? He's like, Megan. <laughs> I was like, on a bar napkin, I went, dear Megan, never stop chasing your dreams. Oh, that's- <laughs> <laughs> and I spelled Nick Lachey completely wrong. I was going to yeah, say, or, yeah. Yeah, S-H-A-Y or whatever the yeah, fuck. Yeah, N-I-C-H, yeah. like Nick. <laughs> <laughs> the thought of this girl just having a napkin on like her bedroom wall. Yeah, uh, listening so listening to this right so now, having a, a panic attack. Drum. Yeah, signing, <laughs> sign Nick Latchkey, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> sign Nardo dad Lashaw. thinking he's a fucking hero forever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's really sweet of you, though. Yeah. You gave that. Oh yeah, you gotta lie to the kids. Like, yeah, that's you something you can give kids. them. I also yeah. like. I, I like the. I like the idea. That it's the other way. That like her and her dad have a little joke where it's like you convinced some guy. <laughs> <laughs> you thought he was. Yeah. Nick Can you believe it, Carol? I did it again. <laughs> you, you, made him think, you made him think. You made him. You made him think he was so good yeah, at karaoke. Yeah. I never thought you'd beat Axl Rose, he but here we are. <laughs> <laughs> you found the Nick Lachey, didn't you? Oh my god! I didn't know Dido looked like you in person. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, who's your favorite boy band? Ah, uh, my favorite boy band. Um, I, I, I in sync probably. Yeah, maybe, maybe yeah. Backstreet Boys. It's nothing that you you've never gotten. Let's go with. Urban, dude. No, like boys, boys men. men. Boys to men. Yeah, it's not really a boy band though. They were a men band. They were a bunch of. Bo- they were they, a they, they eventually got yeah. there. Are the new like? <laughs> sure. Are the new are the new Asian ones booty. good? What, what about the new Asian? Or? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Whatever they are. I don't know. Is that the Asian trannies? They seem interesting. Are they are they trans? At least three of them, right? I don't know. They're lady boys, right? <laughs> they don't no, tag this no, in the no, metadata because yeah. their fans are terrified. No way. Yeah. Oh, cut they've, it like, out. they've like gotten people elected in Zimbabwe. I'm not, oh, I'm not okay. fucking with them. Okay. You no, know, they're just hot boys. Oh, they're hot boys. Yeah. What about One they're Direction? Like in sync. I mean, they are None all of those hot are little ladies. girls. One yeah. Direction, I would throw off of a cliff one by one. They're all as hot as Taylor from Hanson used to be. Hanson was a good answer. Yeah, good yeah answer. true. Hanson's, Hanson's true. a good answer. I was hoping anybody would have put <laughs> that in. Yeah. No, they, I liked Hanson. <gasps> yeah. I got to say, Where's yeah. The love? I, yeah, yeah. Where is the love? Yeah. Great song. Yeah. Where's the love is a secondary hit. Who was the. I just really showed my. Was that. What was the. What was, uh, yeah. Did that one kid Why have a I solo career for a little bit? Black girls. Taylor did. Zach, the drummer, did. And yeah. Isaac, the mule faced older, older brother, just what, went well, was that a man sheep. Group? What was Taylor? What was ta- some of Taylor's jam? Well, they were all like in that. This cross? We're doing a bunch that's of That's not a group. Yeah, why don't we, <laughs> we all, why don't we all talk at once? It's uh, all right. They can choose who to listen to. That's okay. Yeah. 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 Nicole, can you put <laughs> left brain, right brain, left can, brain, right brain? Can you put Feeney and Tommy's conversation in a left ear? <laughs> <laughs> I was. Chris, is, uh, Chris and Mike's in the right. <laughs> See, this isn't right. What did you Google? Type black, what? black boy bands of the 90s. Oh, God. And they have boys to men. That's not real. I was going to say Joe. See, that's not real. All for one. Like, all for one. Cool. Yeah. All for one. Because they're men. Yeah. yeah. 112. Black Street Belmont. Peaches and Cream. Also, I mean, yeah. here's the thing. These are also, not this falls under R&B. Yes. Is, but you're showing a racial blind spot in which you're not 
you're just dis- yeah. you're no there was you know, the B and R and B is for crew. boy band. He wants yeah. younger. He's he's more worried about the age. Yeah, yeah. and the teens. They you got so be flustered like, by this. You lost some volume in your hair. It's, it's, <laughs> you're sweating. I'm not sweating. I put a little eucerin over top of my moisturizer. Eucerin. Yeah, it's got a sheen to it. <laughs> it gives a glow to your skin. It's you healthy. do that every day. Yeah, every day. That was like a eucerin. I go uh, Cerave first. Cerave is great. And then I do a light eucerin on top because it's a very uh, it's a very thick emollient. That's what you put in your hair too. There's a sheen. Is that just for aesthetic, or is that doing yeah. anything to your skin? Uh, it protects it from the wind. From the wind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to make that interesting. Wind. Will you shut the fuck up? <laughs> His skin does look sick. You should use some of the stuff. Some yeah. urine? Yeah, you should. Nope. Nope. You should definitely. Urisin? Irish people should definitely. Urisin, yeah. You got to lube up. All right, I'll yeah. do that. What's it how called? don't you? Don't you have like I, you, uh, dry skin all over your body? Yeah, yeah. I use CeraVe, but I don't put uh, urine on my face. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll send you a link. Okay. Yeah, you'll be grateful. That's you'll a real stop, friend. You stop this bullshit. You'll be grateful. <laughs> you'll be grateful. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't need those last. Anyway, we just skipping but... over that boy band thing. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it's, it's too deep. All right, there's so many. I mean, answers. I'm trying to think My of that one question. Hanson song. That's so good. I'd kill with Direction. <laughs> I'd fuck the Backstreet Boys. I'd marry all Mike's Anson. favorite questions I'd were like slave Snap Hanson, that. and <laughs> I'd. Uh... I don't care. No, I didn't. What was the other one? What? Just right. Asian boys. <clears throat> Here's the scenario you from Cerna Style. You form a new university. What's the mascot? What's the motto? And what is the first scandal that happens at your school? It's mm. mm. a lot. Yeah. I mean, mine's obviously Canon University. How could it not be? Yeah, yeah. And uh, the Canon U- University Canons? Balls. <laughs> the Canon <laughs> University balls. Yeah. Like <laughs> big ball costume. Well, I like that. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. We're just a pair of black balls. <laughs> Bare black balls. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. I'd love to see that mask. Uh, Sagalo, <laughs> we already know what the first scandal is. <laughs> teacher puts her balls in someone's face. Goddamn right, do the old Peyton Manning, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the Roman helmet on a sports trainer. The show is what very a hard. Piece of shit. It is hard, isn't it? Show it, is it, it is. It is. The show it is, is hard. hard. I fucking it's got hard. up at ten a.m. for this. Yeah, it's hard enough doing yuck yucks at noon. <laughs> Let alone going, oh, are you upset I, with yeah, us? Yeah. No, I just didn't know all this thing. I didn't, we've never, we, these questions are. These hard. are really good questions. Yeah. Now you have to. Usually, you have to you're the head of a global corporation. <laughs> yeah. 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 Make us a marketing yeah. plan. Yeah. <laughs> like, what? Meanwhile, like, <laughs> what? Last night, Chris and I were like, you like fat asses? How fat do you like an ass? Oh, oh trust me. Great that, question. Those questions. Yeah. They've done um, those questions. Two, <laughs> two beers yeah. in, I can tell you how fat an ass I like. I'm this pretty surprised. Difficult. They're Certainly. managing the Atlanta Falcons. Who do you draft? <laughs> yeah. what, how do you structure the contract? Yeah. You know, like, what, what are your prices at concession? <laughs> yeah. From wine down to popcorn. <laughs> yeah. You're at a Wells Fargo. It's being robbed. <laughs> yeah. That's are the- you a hero? <laughs> <laughs> Do we have You're other upgrading non- the boxes? What are you willing to pay for a pulse? Financial <laughs> related questions. Yeah, we have a bunch. <laughs> oh, we, we have a bunch where you guys might have to organize and write down your thoughts. Uh, <laughs> would you rather and those and those? <laughs> would you rather cuts? Would you rather be prone to paper cuts? Have to cut your own hair every day, or have your one line cut from a blockbuster movie? Cut your hair every day. I mean, Wait, people do your, that all. Oh, time. have your one line cut if you were yeah. the actor in the movie. Haircut. Definitely not paper cuts. No, pa- I mean that's no, prone to paper cuts. <laughs> Fine, I haven't touched paper in fucking. You touch that, you'll get cut up right, right there. Right there. there. You paper. fucking idiot. For this, Whoa. this you can get cut. <laughs> get him, get cut sad. In yeah. this scenario, turns out you can. I feel yeah. like this you're is- prone. <laughs> and I can't, yeah. I can't appeal like uh, appeal to the gods. Like this no. is cardboard. That, you can get That's a card- paper. Yeah, I should, cardboard. It's a paper product. Paper. Yeah, yeah, it's made by paper. Any paper product. So when does it stop? Wood. Yeah, it can. Stop when does wood? <laughs> it stops. Oh, at what point does wood become? Question. But you, then you're prone to splinters. <laughs> is that no? That's not in it. That's, that's not it. That's not, not part of the not, agreement. Not in it. We're adding yeah. that right now. You just, <laughs> does it count as liquid paper? Yeah. What if it's white out? Yeah. <laughs> Would you rather be prone to is white out liquid paper? Splinters? That's what it's called. <laughs> yeah. That's what it's called. Or yeah, it's paper. Not. absolutely. Yeah. Not. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, were you what? you were serious? It's not boiled down paper. <laughs> Who knows, dude? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, I knows. Do you know? Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, they take it's paper plus water. <laughs> they put it in a it pot. Is, they boil. It's like it, a shellac. Know? This it, is this is gonna be a great like courtroom drama. <laughs> 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 you get one of these decisions, and you're like, "Well, hang on a second. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's Why? what this is. But, it's deliberating over nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. As if it's a murder. I'm not. I do the cut uh, the cut your own hair thing because that at least you could master, and that doesn't seem like it's so much of a nightmare it's not 
You do it? You every, cut your own hair? You fade it? Like you do weeks, a skin yeah. fade? Yeah. You don't do skin. Stop doing that. I do what? So, you're I so do. handsome. Uh, thank you. I'm having a tough time. Oh, no. But you'd have, to, you'd have to do it every day. <laughs> I'd well, shave this every two days. <laughs> Yeah, I heard you. You fuck. <laughs> <laughs> was, you went down like this, and then you just looked at your. It was hair. one yeah. hair. You. It was more than one because you had two cupped, and you went like this. Your eyes wide. You, uh, to dude, you should check what's in your about going bald. <laughs> but it's not a worry of mine. I cut my face hair every every, every two days. It's not a worry of mine. I shave. I, I shorten my arm hair sometimes. Am I? Do you shave? You, you go. Shave you go your straight to face. You go bald yeah. face. No, no, no. I just go no clip. Wait. Mm. All my hair. You go. Trimming. You shave your arm. Sometimes I'll. I'll reduce this Why and my swimming? chest. I used to shave my chest my, hair. Gets my I get a bouffant. It goes through my gym clothes and oh, okay. I have great chest hair. Like on set, I've had like like uh, makeup Cuffs. women will pull. Oh. I think it's like a thing, and it's just a chest hair. I don't like that. Yeah, it's I don't like out. when people pull it. Don't be touching it. No, I have don't like a barbed me. wire fortress around they each nipple. Uh, Sorry, I have to park. Yeah, but um, <laughs> then that actually used to poke through my practice jersey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You gotta shoot. <laughs> it it weasel its way through the mesh. Yeah. It gets all fuzzy on the inside. So are we all picking yeah. the hair one then? Yeah, we're all doing hair. Yeah. All right. I'm, doing paper. I'm sticking with paper. Oh, no, oh never, mind. never mind. All right. All right. There you go. Paper cut. It's going to be bleeding. You guys do a thing where you have to cut your own hair once to see how it all comes out. I don't, right. I don't really have much. What if I, if I wear a glove? Is it going to cut me through the glove? Jesus Christ, Chris. Let the fuck. You are paper. prone. <laughs> Prone, but it's not would. prone is not automatic. But yeah. prone is what's more likely than others. It does not make you a hemophilia. You ever met yeah. somebody that was actually in a debate team? You didn't want to <laughs> like they're the worst type of people to hang out with. You were on a debate team? Dude. Have you ever have you ever taken I'll debate you on that? <laughs> have you ever been, have you ever taken part in one though? Like yeah, even it's in the a worst class? thing in the world. Dude, I They're so the worst people. I didn't know what it was. I thought it was like arguing with your parents or friends or whatever. Yeah, so yeah. I literally did it in front of a library of people and I was like, "No, you dumb bitch." Yeah, yeah. Like literally <laughs> just putting yeah, people yeah. down yeah. personally yeah. and giving personal foibles instead of like going yeah. at their point of view and they were like, "That's not what this oh, is." And yeah. I was like, "Excuse me. You like, survived one night in my family. Um, yeah, you're like hung over in college, and the kid's like, I'm going to critical theory class. You're like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> you are. It, uh, Here's a critical theory. Suck my I, bag. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, we have time for a few more. Thank you, boys, for doing this. Dude, yeah, absolutely. Thanks, everybody, on the Patreon. Um, yeah. Shout out to the yeah. Patreon. Yeah, Patreon. Oh, yeah. Uh, Patreon.com slash scenario pod. And we have, oh, weirdly enough. Patreon Weirdly enough, we have an offer. Would you be on my waxing slash beauty podcast, Pubecast, where comedians can wax anything and get interviewed at the same time? It's very fun. Oh, I already got anyway. that one. You got that one? Yeah, no thank you. But she's wonderful. I'd like she to get my... I support support I'd like to see what it's like. I'm not getting any What it wax. feels to get my asshole waxed. Yeah. Like in terms there you of, go. I, I, I don't want to do it. Awesome. She's a, I don't want to do it on a podcast. I don't yeah, want to talk the, my way that's through that's it. That's the best way to do it. <laughs> yeah, I want to get massaged True. while someone's doing that. Yeah, I'm, I gonna have to, I'm gonna have to bite on a wooden spoon. Just <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I got a uh, take a I swig of paper. whiskey. Yeah. I did a podcast when you well, from a professional masseuse at the comedy store. They while you're getting a massage, they they talk to. They have like a ring light underneath your like squished face. And then they fucking ruins the massage. It's having a talk. Yeah. Well, the whole thing you just be like i'm not going to be saying much so you, yeah this is on this is going to be on you to do most of the they're, like, they're like they're like so well, how was your first set ever in comedy and i was like good <laughs> yeah. yeah i was the worst guest ever right. but it's a great yeah. massage <laughs> you fall asleep so how was your first set <laughs> yeah <laughs> so yes i'll be on your show um should we shout out the new patreon members real quick yeah yeah i don't know how to do that can you pull that up that'd be great i'll ask Say, a thanks question. kev thanks bob Thank you, Joanne. Yeah, exactly. But they have weird names with like. Do you not thank your come. patrons? Yeah, we say thanks, patrons. You guys are like, yeah, so fucking cool. Dude. No, I'm just wondering like how you do it. Do you say their last name? Do you? <laughs> we read their we, name. we say each individual and because we give they them say... a heartfelt thank you while making eye contact with the camera. All right, good. They mean it. Because if you're gonna done. do it, fucking do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know they're feeding I mean? my son. Yeah. Don't, don't, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I get it, but don't give him a half-assed thank you. If I could do no, it. no, we're doing it. That's yeah. why I said pull it up because I don't know how. Find a right. birthday, put the birthday yep. in the calendar. Make sure go. you respond. <laughs> we, go. Yeah, we got a yeah. couple. Go full board, dude. Oh, dude, every single time somebody's like, hey, I'll be back next month, I send them emails every nice. week just to remind yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> what you cycle. said? It's almost over. Yeah. Uh, what you said? <laughs> okay. Real quick. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Lauren. Bob? No. Yeah. Thank you, Casey Betts. Casey Betts. Casey Betts. Casey Tom or Carrie Betts. Casey Thompson. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Jeff Lovegren. Yeah, Jeffy. Lauren, very cool last name. 
virtue. Now, uh, this could be made up. Yeah, but <laughs> I like it as a stage Still, name. Oh, yeah. Steve-O. If she waves at you, it's a virtual a virtue signal. Oh, there we go. Tripped How much time? The Show's over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tommy, yeah, Tommy's like, I got places to be. Uh, Steve-O, thank you. Rooster24, thank you. Rooster? Rooster24. This guy went went full on aim name. Um, <laughs> ASL, bro. Yeah, John, John Ailman, thank you very much. Keith, thank you. Saglo, I haven't even been saying it, what they are. But uh, Ryan Ritter, $10 uh, Feeny Tuscany Fund. Steve Getz, $10 Feeny. You don't have to. And whatever. And then Lane Baker. Thanks, Lane. Lane, Lane Baker. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. Is that it? Maybe that's, yeah, that's it. Thank you. New Patreon members again, patreon.com slash scenario a year. pod. Thanks for signing up for the year. You are, you're a goddamn oh, you delight. Oh, you annuals. Yeah. I like giving the option. We do everything. We have a so, tip cup one where you can put whatever you want and you get nothing. You get nothing. Yeah, except for our uh, I think that's automatic. What do you mean? You can tip regardless. That's, that's just automatic, yeah. You no, no, we... <laughs> That's how Patreon Wait, works. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you can you can subscribe any amount of money, and if you're not in a tier, you don't get anything. Oh, that's cool. So give us more. Yeah. What yeah. the hell's going on? Well, at least we have a little photo that says something. <laughs> <laughs> it's just us as toothless homeless. Yeah. All right. Uh, one of the final questions, Justin. What's the most expensive thing you've bought but didn't need? Yeah, make fun of my chain. I got what? it. Yeah, the chain. For <laughs> Go sure. ahead. That chain. What chain? chain? Are you wearing the chain right now? Yeah. The most expensive. I see it. Thing Pop it out. I see it. Pop that chain I out. I always wanted to wear a chain, and I said a, I would wait <laughs> till I get to 40. Well, how I, old are you? 42. Where it's, right. that chain so is good. awesome. It's delicate, right? Yeah. Let it go. Wait, what? Now, what is it a choker? Or anything? No, oh, it just goes. Oh. It goes like that. It goes. Appropriate s- length? Yeah, like definitely that. an electric guitar. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, you did. <laughs> you did. Did you do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you do that during and the pandemic? Yeah. This motherfucker yeah. just gets an electric guitar and an amp delivered. He played for two days and not just in the corner. <laughs> is it a nice Which one, too? Which is typical, yes. No, it, no it, well, it's it's nice enough. It How was not. Was it? What? It was, I think it was like 300 bucks. Oh, okay. Yeah. bucks. So it's expensive, but it's still in the realm but it's of totally like, unused. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> you I have to regret it. Is that the question? I yeah, I guess you have to. I don't regret this. Oh, it's a big yeah. purchase. No, you just didn't need. You, just you didn't, didn't need, need it. it. I got I got drunk and woke up at, and I had ordered a PlayStation Four and controller. This was like that's when, awesome. Was it like when <laughs> I had you play, need that. I had PlayStation Three at the time though. That's like, a, nah, that's that. cool though. That's, that's a right. I needed it. It's a right. What about like strippers and hookers? <laughs> yeah, Stripper. Now we're talking. Sure. Strippers yeah, yeah. for sure. Never got a hooker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's really it really is a write off. It's a media. It's a media player. That's how you consume the media. You got to support the hookers, dude. What's an expense that I didn't? Sneakers, I, I guess. Yeah. You know I, mean? I, I bought a 1993 that. mongoose during uh, <laughs> during the pandemic. <laughs> that yeah. rules. Yeah, and then I also was gifted by the coolest Brian P. I haven't forgotten about you, but this is probably the most expensive gift that I've ever gotten. He got me a 1985 Mongoose Californian, Shut up. which is the bike from the movie Rad oh that that uh, crew Jones. How did he find it? He had it. He had it in his mother's fucking garage for all these years. It was Dude. perfectly chrome, oh none of the rust or anything like that. He met me in that Nanuet, dropped it off. It's the coolest just thing. Just gave it to you? Just gave it to me. Coolest dude on earth, and and uh, he was like, restore it to its uh, original beauty, and I plan to fucking do yeah. all this shit What's to it. Back pegs on there? Yeah. Oh, it's already got. I got the exact same pegs from Rad, motherfucker. Dude, I got, I got well, all these original gosh, parts. That's a big fucking gift. Yeah. You could, you know, obviously you don't want to resell that. But yeah. I'm sure that could go for a few. It, it, it's it's definitely expensive, like just as, as is. is. But what I want to do is I want to actually restore it into the bike from Rad and give it to my son since he's named after that movie. Oh, you don't anyway. want to give him your personality or your sense of humor? <laughs> I already have. I already have. Oh, shit. And that's why I'm no longer funny. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I've been bombing this whole time. <laughs> Great host, though. And uh, last question, as always, from Michael Helm. Here's the scenario is Mike Feeney, Mike Cannon, and Brendan Sagalow. Executive producers Robert Kelly and Matt Kleinschmidt for the Laugh Button Podcast. For more information about the show, visit Here's the Scenario.com. The scenario.